It's confession time with an ancient Macedonian. Hey guys, Alex here, and today's segment will be called Confessions of a Macedonian. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. So, uh, today's vlog, I'm gonna be talking about things I wanna get off my chest. Things that are just eating at my heart and soul because I have no one to tell these secrets to. These are basically my some guilty pleasures of mine that I don't want people knowing. So, I hope my friends here don't tell anybody these confessions of an ancient Macedonian. So, my first confession is, one, I was really jealous when the Creative Assembly invited Robert Pattinson to their Soho event in England. If you don't believe me, guys, look at this picture. Did you see him? Let's look again. I'm going to highlight Robert Pattinson for you. That's him right there, guys. That is Mr. Team Edward himself, Mr. Cedric Diggory. That's, that's him right there, guys. How could they do this to me? Confession number two. I actually love reading Harry Potter books. Um, this one isn't my favorite book, but it's the one nearest me. I think my favorite Harry Potter book would be uh, probably the Gobl Goblet of Fire or maybe the Order of the Phoenix. I like both of those. I mean, I like them all except for the first three books. After the, the third book, the series really picks up. As for the movies, I loved all the movies. That's another confession. So, don't knock Harry Potter, guys. It's great. It's a great, it's a great series. Another confession, guys. This is really, this is really tormenting me. You know those those little mini books that you see at the groceries when you're checking out, and you always wonder to yourself, who actually buys that that crap? Well, I'm one of those people. Every Halloween, like every year, I'll always pick up those those little Halloween cookbooks. This is the latest one I picked up. Halloween Pops and Cupcakes. Now, I don't know why I actually buy these, because I don't eat stuff like this anymore. I have a... Oh, here's another confession. I have a, I have a huge gut right here. So, um, one of the reasons why I don't eat this stuff anymore. But I like looking at the pictures and living life through these pictures. Look at this one. It's called the Good Witch Cake Pop. Like, I would never actually eat that, but I like looking at it. It's literally eye candy. Or, look at this one. It's called the Pumpkin Ice Cream Cookie Pops. Can you see that? It looks really good. Yeah, that's how I live my Halloween dreams. When it comes to sweets, I like to look at pictures and just live through them. Here's another confession, guys. I'm one of the few... I guess people who loves authenticity and history. I'm one of those few who actually enjoyed 300. There was nothing historically accurate about this movie, but it was such a great movie. Very, uh, very well told. Great cinematography. Like I wouldn't like it in every movie, not that style, but in this movie it worked out really well because it gave it a a mythic, you know, a mythic feel to it. And I think that's what they were going for with the storytelling at the beginning. I liked it so much. I bought two copies of it, so I guess you can say it's 600. That's right. Another confession, guys. I sometimes watch Lifetime, the Lifetime channel. Is that what it is? Lifetime? But anyways, I watched this one TV movie called Liz and Dick. Lindsay Lohan plays Elizabeth Taylor, and Grant Bowler plays Richard Burton. What I was curious about in this movie was seeing how these actors and actresses were were portrayed by other actors and actresses. And what I like about Elizabeth Taylor is that she played Cleopatra in a very classic movie alongside Richard Burton. And Richard Burton, by the way, he played Alexander the Great in a very old movie called Alexander the Great. And I gotta say, Graham Bowler, he did a fantastic job of bringing Richard Burton back to life. Um, yeah, that's another guilty confession, guys. Very guilty, guilty confession. All right, here's another here's another big doozy for you guys to swallow. Once upon a time, this is one of my favorite TV shows to watch. Um, this is one of those shows you can't just dive into a random episode. You got to start from the beginning. If you if you just tune in like like mid season, if you missed even like one or two episodes, you're gonna be kind of lost. Um, and what what I I mean, I would consider myself guilty on this occasion because I think the uh, the target demographic for this TV series is um, 
what would be uh, females, I guess. But for me, I think the excellent like script directing and visuals it, it transcends the uh, the target demographic. I, I enjoy this quite quite a bit. And at first, I was skeptical about reading or about watching a show that that merges fantasy in a modern day setting because I'm usually not a fan of that. If I'm gonna watch a fantasy with say Snow White, I want to see her in that 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 fantasy setting. I don't want to see her in today's society. Um, but this show really does a good job of merging all those elements together. And also, this would be my last confession for the evening. I don't want to confess too much. I do want to make myself too vulnerable, guys. I like to buy toys every so often. At the last convention I went to, I bought this uh, Cyberman toy. Hold on. You just threw it. Oh, deleted, sorry. I can see that happening. Either I become one of these Cybermen or I just get deleted. So, look at that, age two and up. <laughs> yeah, I like to buy stuff. All right, guys. If you want to share some stuff that you want to get off of your chest, leave your comments in the comment section. If, if your dirty little secret is just too dirty to be told on YouTube, just send me a private message and we can work your problems out. Consider this a uh, group therapy session, guys. All right. I'll see you guys later.